I'm Gabby. And I'm Shanna. And we're 27 Travels. And this is our guide on how to spend a weekend in Pittsburgh. So we are actually here for Memorial Day weekend and we're on a family trip with my dad. So we're just going to tell you some really quick facts about Pittsburgh that we think are really cool and really interesting. So the first fact is that there are three major rivers that actually span Pittsburgh. And the three rivers are the Ohio River, the Allegheny River, and the Monongahela River. I probably pronounced that wrong. Whoops. <laughs> but, but we're trying. <laughs> but right behind us there is the Allegheny River. So Pittsburgh is known as the city of bridges. There are actually 446 bridges in the city, which is more bridges than in any other city in the world, which is crazy. So and I crazy. know we saw like 15 bridges already just walking around. There's actually three right behind us right now, but we'll tell you about those shortly. <laughs> Another cool fact is that the emoticon, Heinz ketchup, and the Big Mac were all invented here in Pittsburgh. And the last fact we have about Pittsburgh that it actually gets more rain and snow than in Seattle, which is crazy. Which also makes sense why it's raining the next few days, so we should have expected this. <laughs> I mean, we have to get some Pittsburgh rain, especially if that's what the norm is. We have to experience it. <laughs> so we are gonna continue walking around and showing you all everything that Pittsburgh has to offer. And we're excited because we've never been here before. Thank you so much. And huge shout out to Visit Pittsburgh for hooking some stuff up for us on this weekend. We are so excited to see everything that the city has to offer. Okay, so behind me is PNC Park, which is actually where the Pittsburgh Pirates play. They are the baseball team for this area. And I think there's a game going on now or maybe ending right now, but we're actually gonna try and go to a game this week. So we'll see if that happens. Okay, so we're walking across a really cool bridge right now. It's like bright yellow and this city so far is so walkable. We were able to basically walk from our hotel through like a whole Market Square area and onto this bridge, which is super cool. So basically there are actually three identical bridges across the Allegheny River called the Three Sister Bridges. And they are the only three identical bridges known that, across, that cross a major river. So we're gonna try and get a little clip to show you all three of them. I think maybe we could try and get them all here, but so that is one over there, I'm gonna zoom in. We are currently on the 7th Street Bridge and over there is the Roberto Clemente Bridge. This is my dad, everybody. Hey. Hi, Mikey. Mikey. <laughs> Thanks Gabby's for taking dad. us on this trip. <laughs> do you like taking pictures of us? Yes, I do. Do you like going on a trip with us? I like going everywhere we go. <laughs> Hello, to Bunny. Oh, hi, baby bunny. Hop, 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 hop. We're now at the Roberto Clemente Bridge, and this lock has been on the bridge since 1979. How crazy is that? So it is the morning now and we're walking to breakfast, hopefully to get some yummy vegan eats. So we actually found this place called Corner Mercantile that has vegan and non-vegan breakfast sandwiches and coffee and stuff. So we're gonna go check that out. Shanna's gonna try her vegan BLT. Yummy? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. I need time to catch up. <laughs> you have it, don't you? Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank God. Thank God you're in the place where Heinz was born. All right, so we finished up breakfast. It um, was actually really good. It was good. really good. There was only like a few vegan options, but like, yeah. I liked what I got. I thought it was good. They actually said that because of COVID, they had to like scale down some of their vegan options because they weren't selling, which makes total sense. But they still had one and it was a vegan BLT and it was really good. <laughs> and now we are actually going to a few museums. It's supposed to rain today, but it's actually not raining right now. So we're crossing our fingers that maybe the rain holds off a little bit. Yeah, but just in case we have a rainbow umbrella, so, so it'll be okay. <laughs> so the first stop is going to the Senator John Hines History Center and we're going to look at all the exhibits but I'm most excited because they have a Hines ketchup exhibit and if you know me you know that I love ketchup. I put ketchup on everything even bagels and everyone makes fun of me. Everyone makes but fun I love of her ketchup. for the ketchup bagel where she goes and gets a bagel and is like I don't need anything else I'm putting ketchup on the top. <laughs> so that is stop number one today.
this not the creepiest thing you have ever seen in your entire life? Yeah! She wins, she scores, she what shoots, she wins! All right, so I think we finished up at the History Museum. What did you think, Abby? I liked it. I really liked the Heinz stuff. That was the most interesting to me, for sure, just because it's cool to see, like, where Heinz started versus what we know it is today. Yeah, I thought it was, like, set up really nice. So, like, it was really easy to walk around and stuff. And the Heinz exhibit was really, really cool because you learn a lot more than just that it was just a famous ketchup bottle, basically. So definitely recommend checking this out if you're ever in Pittsburgh. Okay, next up is we're going to another museum, and we're actually going to the Andy Warhol Museum, and I'm so excited for that. It should be really fun. I love Andy Warhol's work, so I'm excited to see like what pieces they have and how it's like curated all together. So that should be really cool. And it's also like something that everybody does when they come to Pittsburgh and everyone told us to go there, so we're like, we have to go. Also, it is now raining outside, so I guess we have to walk in the rain, deal with it. So we just finished up at the Andy Warhol Museum and I wasn't allowed to take video on there for copyright reasons, which makes total sense. So I'm gonna insert some photos that Gabby took um, of the museum. But it was really cool. I love seeing like some of his work that I haven't seen before. He just yeah. has so much work that he did over his lifetime that like he has such different pieces of like his art that you could see. Especially yeah. at this museum, they had a lot of the collection. I will say though, they didn't have a lot of his most famous pieces because we have been to like, I think in the MoMA in New York, they have like his really famous like Campbell's soup and we've seen that there. So I was expecting here to have like a little bit more of like his popular work, but they actually didn't have that. But it's still really informative and gives you like a lot of info on his life and how he like how he came to be the artist that he is. Yeah, I feel like was. you get a lot more info on him yeah. than you do when you see like some of his work somewhere else and they're just talking about the specific art that he was making at that time. Yeah, so definitely come check it out if you're interested in art or Andy Warhol or any of that kind of stuff. <laughs> and now we're actually heading to a brewery to grab some beer and a snack before going to the next thing. mattress factory which is like um kind of like an interactive i guess you could say it's art more like an immersive museum. art there museum you go. like it's not interactive you don't touch stuff but it's immersive as in like when you go into the exhibit the artist's work like completely surrounds you like it's kind of like a little it's cool but also could be a little freaky depending on the art you're seeing yeah so there were some exhibits that we thought were really cool and some that we thought were like really weird but um I one think of them i ran away i was like i'm scared i'm running away but I think it's still like something like cool to see and do because it's like the art here is very different than you would find in like a traditional museum so it's like really unique in that way. Alright, so it is the next day in Pittsburgh now. Unfortunately, it has been raining all day. So, so much, much rain. rain. So much rain. So much rain. But we knew that it was a possibility because you check the weather and also Pittsburgh gets more rain than Seattle. So yeah. we knew that that was probably going to happen. So we tried to do as much as we could today. We went to this area called Lawrenceville and we grabbed some coffee. And then we went to the Frick, which is like an art museum and saw a Frida Kahlo exhibit. And I think I filmed some clips there. So we'll insert those now. Um, I yeah. didn't want to use my camera that much because it was raining so much and I didn't want my camera to get all messed up. So yeah, it was just too rainy. We went to Squirrel Hill and we walked around. Yeah, we're actually staying at the Hilton Garden Inn, which I really like because I feel like it's like in a really good location. We've been able to walk to a lot of different things that we've wanted to do, which is really nice. And also check out this view. Like this is a pretty sick view of Pittsburgh. Yeah, you can if find I do see. say so myself. You can kind of see the gloomy rain weather that we're having at the moment. Yeah, so next up on our list, I think it's stopped raining like a little bit, um, or at least it shouldn't be raining too much longer. And we're gonna go get vegan milkshakes, but they also have non-vegan milkshakes at this place called the Milkshake Factory. Yeah, maybe me and my dad will get non-vegan milkshakes, <laughs> but maybe I'll get a vegan milkshake. It depends what they have. I haven't looked at the menu at all, but we just heard about vegan milkshakes and we were like, we have to go try that. 
Okay, so this is a dairy-free cookies and cream milkshake. I'm so excited. I took a little sip already, but I already know it's good. But I'm gonna try it on camera so you can see my reaction. So good. Definitely one of the best vegan milkshakes I've ever had. So creamy, delicious. Definitely come check it out. They actually have like six, I think, vegan flavors, which is a lot more than any other milkshake place I've ever been to. So perfect. We're about to go do something really cool, which is go to the Dust Queen Incline. Is that what it's called? The Dust Queen in Incline? <laughs> We're not saying it right at all, but basically it's supposed to be really cool. You like take a, a, a little cable car up to the top and then you're supposed to get like really nice views of the city. And we are really excited because it's finally not raining today. <laughs> we have clouds, but we have no rain, we which have is no really rain. nice because it was cold and rainy yesterday. It's a little cold today, but no rain. So it's the perfect day to go exploring and to do this incline in a cable car, which is so exciting. This here. is so cool. You can literally see like, I think my dad counted like 16 bridges in every direction, <laughs> but we can see so much. I can see the three bridges where we were walking the other day and it's just like a really nice view up here. Mikey, you're afraid of heights, right? Well, yes, but not this height, I'm okay. Okay. But so what's this, really cool is- Just checking is, in on you. Yeah, really cool. You can see Pirate Stadium. Uh, you can see Pine Steelers. Steel. So Except you got we, don't, Park. we don't like the Steelers, okay? We you like the Dolphins. Nine. We just learned that this incline was built in 1877 and it goes six miles per hour, which isn't that fast, but it felt pretty fast when we were on it. I gotta say, it feels like when you go on these that you're up all the way to the top in like one minute. So how, how high are we right now? How high are we? I'm gonna look on my phone for that fact, because I don't remember <laughs> it. We are 400 feet in the air from where we started on the ground where we were filming before. Rope just I'm now terrified that that's how we got up there. But, you know, it, it seems to be a working method. It's been working for hundreds of years, but it's a little scary to see. Right, what did we think? I really liked it. I thought it was really fun. I thought it was really cool, like a very unique experience. just grabbed a quick lunch at this cafe called Verdis. We don't Verdis. know how to say anything. We say everything wrong. No, I think you're saying Verdis right this time. <laughs> but um, it was basically an all vegan cafe. I just thought that they had vegan options, but it was all <laughs> vegan and the food was amazing. You just saw, but I got like a vegan like breakfast sandwich and Gabby got a, chick a vegan chicken salad. It was so good. I actually couldn't even finish my sandwich because it was so big for the money <laughs> that I was like, wow, I thought I was hungry, but like I can't finish this, but it was really, really good. A cute place. So if you're ever in the south side of Pittsburgh, definitely check out Verdis. It was amazing. All vegan cafe. Also, I think we should say that the south side, like this whole area is really cute. Like there's a really long street with tons of shops and restaurants and coffee shops, basically you name it. And it's a really cute area to come to. And it seems to have a lot of nightlife, like bars and clubs and things that you can go do. This is the end of our Pittsburgh video. We did so many different things while we were here visiting Pittsburgh and we had such a good time. Yet again, thank you Visit Pittsburgh for hooking up all of those amazing museums that we got to go see and experience while we were here. So that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully we helped you out if you're gonna be in Pittsburgh for a few days. These are all of our favorite things to do, all of the amazing vegan food we had. Thank you for watching and like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.